Hey there, thanks for joining me today. This is Laura Lynn with Keep Inking Up. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! in San Antonio, Texas. And today I wanted to share the hinge step stamping technique using our Stamparatus and the Nothing's Better Than um, stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set. You all know how much I love photopolymer. And you can get it in with a bundle um, with coordinating dies and you do save 10% whenever you do order the bundle. So I wanted to mention that. Um, I love this stamp set. It has some adorable little images of the cookie, cocktail, coffee cup, and chocolate, which are great for the hinge step stamping technique, which I want to share with you today. So let me put this aside and bring in my Stamparatus. Here's my Stamparatus. I've already um, put my stamps on there to have them in the correct location. If you're not familiar with the Stamparatus, it is here on page 164 of our current 2021 annual catalog. We do have a carrying case, the Stamparatus itself, magnets which are stored on the back. Let me show this, oops. Stored on the back of the Stamparatus. I have wrapped mine with duct tape so I can easily pick them up. Um, but they just come bar magnets and you can get additional magnets. Your Stamparatus does come with a foam mat for photopolymer stamp sets, but we also sell the deluxe foam mat right here, which has the grid on it and a slick surface so you can easily clean it, which I love. And you see me use this all the time for my photopolymer stamp sets when I'm not using the Stamparatus, so I love this. And we also sell small grid paper that fits perfectly inside the Stamparatus. But like I said, I have already loaded up. Oh, and, this, and the Stamparatus comes with two of these um, plates that we can do, and they have the hinges on them. And we're gonna do the hinge step stamping today. I'm gonna take this out of the way so I don't confuse myself. So I have a piece of our Whisper White cardstock that I'm gonna put in the corner of the Stamparatus. And then I'm going to ink up, where did I put here? I'm gonna ink up my I have my cocktail image already mounted on here, and I'm going to ink that up with the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm gonna stamp that down. That's perfect, but if the image was not perfect because of the Stamparatus, I could stamp it again to get a cleaner image. I'm gonna pick up the plate and move it down one notch. This is the hinge step stamping. I'll ink it up again. And swing it over and stamp it. And look at that, it's just perfect. It, it barely fits on there. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Doing things in threes is a good design tool. So I'm gonna stamp three um, cocktails for my sample here. Swing this over, stamp it down. And what the nice thing about this also is all of these cocktails are in a straight line. There's no way if I was doing this with a block that I would be able to get them lined up perfectly but because of the Stamparatus, I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to the other side because now I can start with the um, the inside. So in the stamp set you have the image of the cocktail glass and then you have the inside with the little ice cubes which is so cute. Okay so for that I'm actually going to do a little bit of um, blending on my stamp. So let's see I'm going to start with my two, whoops that's not blue, start with my blue colors from my first cocktail. I've got Coastal Cabana and Pacific Point running out of room here. So I'm gonna open the Pacific Point and the Coastal Cabana. And to get this blended look, I'm going to use um, my sponge daubers. So the sponge daubers just fit on your finger like that. This is the Coastal Cabana one. So I'm gonna get ink on the, the sponge dauber and I'm going to ink up the top part of my liquid refreshment there. Put that aside and I'm gonna pick up another one for Pacific Point. And I'm gonna add the, blue, the darker blue on the bottom. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. 
And now I've, I've already lined everything up. And I'm gonna stamp that down. So my liquid goes right in the middle of my glass, exactly where I want it. I think I want to darken up the Pacific Point a little bit. So I'm gonna ink up my sponge dauber again and add a little more ink on the bottom there and stamp it down. And because everything's in the exact same places, it'll line up perfectly. I kind of like that a little bit better, don't you? Now I want to go ahead and do the same thing on the third. Um, on the third glass. So I can ink up. I'm going to make sure my paper is in the corner so everything is all lined up perfectly. I'll get the specific point. I can go ahead and stamp this down. It doesn't matter what order you do them in. Oops. And then I'll get the Coastal Cabana and ink up the top of the drink. And again, I think I want to darken up the, the blue a little bit on the bottom. There we go, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close up these ink pads so I can make room for my other two colors for my other drink, which I'm gonna use Melon Mambo and Mango Melody, a bunch of M's. But before I do that, I need to clean my stamp because I already have blue on there, so I'm gonna use a sh Simply Chamois. And what I've done is I've cut one in half for when I use my Stamparatus. That way it fits better in my hand and I can just clean up with that squeaky clean. Now my stamp is stained because I've used the Melon Mambo, all of the red stained photopolymer but that's okay. So I'm gonna move my hinge back up to the middle so it'll line up with my middle glass. And now I'm going to open my Mango Melody and my Melon Mambo ink pads. And I've got sponge daubers, so I have this one is the Mango Melody. So I'm gonna ink up the top of this stamp with the Mango Melody and then go in the bottom of the image with the Melon Mambo. And we'll see how that looks. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? But I think that I want some more. I want that little bit darker pink on the bottom. And you can do it however many times that you want to get the look that you want. I like that. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, I think those drinks look so yummy at the moment. Okay, I'm going to close up these ink pads. And I'm gonna bring in a piece of scratch paper. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this stamp. I didn't clean the other one, did I? All right, now what I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit more color to these images. So I'm gonna use my Stampin' Blends. So I've got my Dark and Light Calypso Coral and my Dark and Light Granny Apple Green. And I'm gonna use the bullet tips on the Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna use the light Granny Apple Green to color in the inside of my little lime slices. No blending, just color, straight color but because of these blends, there's no marker lines, so it looks all nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna take the darker one and do the rind. Isn't that fun? I hope you can see that. Now I'm gonna take my Calypso Coral colors and do the light color on the umbrellas. Again, no um, 
marker lines. Oops, I went on the lines a little bit. It's okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a dark Calypso coral just on the tops. Just so we can add a little bit of depth in here. And I'll blend that a little bit. Just to give those umbrellas just a little bit of depth. Okay, isn't that fun? So these uh, cocktails are ready to be cut and put on a card. Let me show you the card that I made with these. Um, I used some of the sentiments from the um, stamp set. Today is a cocktails kind of day. The cocktails is from the die set, and you'll notice it's on dimension. We also now have um, dimensional foam, so you can add dimension to the entire the entire sentiment and I cut it out using the stitched nested labels dies I used this one right here so it gave some nice um, little stitching detail around there and then I used the tasteful textures 3d embossing folder that's probably my most used embossing folders these days it used to be the subtles background but um, this one's uh, getting it a run for its money they're both very very popular and then I just added a couple little rhinestones to add a little bling so I hope that you can see that really well isn't that a fun card <laughs> when I was making this I was thinking of all of the moms that are beginning virtual uh, learning these days my son will be starting next Tuesday, but he's a high school senior, and so I don't really have to do a lot of um, effort with him. He can he can do things on his own. He's a he's a good smart kid. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful on how to do hinge step stamping with your Stamparatus. I love this Stamparatus. I know it's a little bit of a high price point. It's at forty nine dollars in the U S. Um, but honestly, it is a great value for what it can do for you. It uh, I showed in my previous video about how having straight sentiments using this tool, but um, the hinge step stamping is just another uh, great way to use this tool. So it is a really good investment um, to help you enjoy your stamping process. So I hope that you learned something new today and enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.